In the previous tutorials, we have learned how we can create layouts for our entire application. In this one, we're gonna see how we can create nested layouts for our bar page in this example. In the next tutorial, we're gonna learn how we can create nested routes. So this is gonna be a good setup for that tutorial. Go with Sloba. Okay, so in this tutorial, as we said, we want to create nested layout for a bar component. So let's just make sure that the URL that we are using to fetch all the cocktails is correct one because I broke it in the previous tutorial to show how we can handle the errors. Now it should work correctly and let's head over to our bar component and now it works correctly. Beautiful. Now in order to create a nested layout, we just need to create layout uh, component or layout page here inside of our bar folder. So let's create a new one and let's call it layout. So this needs to be the name exactly the same as when you're naming the layout or when you're creating layout in your root app folder. So now we are getting this error because we are not exporting anything from our page or our component. So let's create a functional component with export. I'm going to use my shortcut and I'm going to name this one as bar layout. So it's more descriptive. Uh, what is important to know is if we don't return anything or actually if we don't return children, you're going to get this bar layout. And it's just, as you can see from the page, we're returning this bar div. So we want to get this bar div and surrounding that bar div is going to be the layout that is going to be presented for all the nested routes inside of our bar page. So now let's remove this bar and we want to return here children, as I said. Without that, it's not going to render nested routes or the page itself. So here, if we refresh now, we get this bar and actually the layout is empty. It's just a div. It's just one div. So what I want to do is I want to add like a header or like a jumbotron here. So it's like more, um, you know, just to add some element to show you how layout actually works. Maybe it's not the best use case for this page, but it's something that will help us to understand how layout works. So let's create, and I'm gonna use Daisy to create a element here. Let's just create a new div and let's add a class name of hello, or actually of hero, like so. And inside of this div, I wanna add another div and let's add another class name of hero-content. And here we're gonna have um, an image, a text and a button. So let's add the first image and this is gonna be an image of a bar. So I just copied over some image from Google and I'm just going to paste that. You can use whatever image you want. So instead of children, I want to use this image. And below this, I want to add another div. And here I would just want to add some text. So let's add H1 text. And let's say here, welcome to our bar, like a welcoming text. Below that, we're going to add some description. So something like feel free to order as many drinks as you like drinks as you like it's not like that i'm suggesting for you guys to drink but yeah and let's add a button where it's gonna say let's get some okay cool now let's save this and we get this uh like jumbotron but let's apply some daisy ui classes so it's much nicer uh, so let's for the hero Let's add min height screen, which is gonna make this uh, minimum height is gonna be the screen height. It's gonna make it larger. And let's add some background here, as you can see here, okay? And BG base dash 200, and this is gonna make our background a gray, as, as you can see here. Okay, so for the hero content, let's make it as flex uh, column on the smaller devices on mobile devices and starting from the large let's make it as flex dash row like so so we have the image on top and below that we have uh, this text okay so now let's add some classes uh, to our image itself so let's add a class name and for this one let's add the maximum width to be sm so so it's not that large. Uh, we can add some uh, rounded dash LG and shadow to Excel. So that we actually have rounded corners and that we have uh, that we have some shadow here. 
And since our image actually is overflowing the boundaries of the hero component that we have, let's make it, let's make it max width as full. And starting from the large screens, let's make it max width small. So now if I save it, it should take the container size. And if you try to make it full screen, then it's uh, laid out next to each other in the row. Okay, beautiful. Now let's add some styles uh, to our text. So for the title, let's add a class name to increase the font size and let's add text 5XL. And let's add font bold, font dash bold for our paragraph. Let's add some padding, class name py-6. So this is on top and on the bottom. And let's add some styles for a button. So that actually it is a button. So let's add a class name of btn and btn-primary. And this is how you can add nested layouts. Unfortunately, you cannot see now and test it as we have this only bar and we don't have any nested routes. But in the next tutorial, we're gonna add nested routes and you're gonna see how this layout or this component stays for every single component that we have or every single route that we have inside of this bar page and the content itself or the children of the bar component are just gonna change similar to what you did to the entire application. See you in the next one. And if you wanna support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. Stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.